All right, here we go. Nope, just kidding. I'm back. So we got a pistol downhill. First one, look at the look at the hole. First off, so you get your man, Jane Reed. So they got a man outside the box, not in not in this particular count, okay? Because they motioned him in. You've got Kraft hipped off, and he's going to do a good job of singling up here, being able to stick on their outside backer defensive end. Now, uh, Zach Tom gets his left hand extended. He crosses over, but between him and Morgan, they get their two guys with a clear lane. And look at everybody else is actually has their guy so much that they're pointed the other direction. You can't get better than this for running lane. The next person to make a play is a safety, right? Just a fantastic job. And what a runner this guy is after contact, man. Unbelievable. Now, this is what I talk about, manufacturing run game. So you pull the guard. You look like you're going to follow with the tight end or the fullback. And you end up handing this ball off, not to Jacobs, but to Bo Melton on the end around for, you know, what is that, 25 yards? That's, that's 25 yards that goes on the back, one carry for 25 yards on a damn reverse from Bo Melton that goes on the back of your, your rushing stats. And you look like a genius all of a sudden, you know, and it's and because they are. It's fantastic. Look at this play here. Again, in the world by the fullback, Myers gets one. You got backside Zach Tom getting one. Fantastic. Love it. Way to ID coverage. So they go put, why I say that, they go in motion with the running back. Come on, Mike. They put the running back in motion across the ball. That IDs the coverage for them. They know it's in zone. Why does that matter? Because they're going you bunch side. So you had four receivers on one side. You got the you got the one on one up top. You know it's zone coverage on the left. Well, that means they're going to have to pass off the crosser. Okay, happens to be Chris Barnes. Happens to be a former Packer. While we love the guy, we know he can't run Jaden Reed. So they run the whirl route. They're in the tight end on the corner, but they know they've got a matchup here where a linebacker's got to try to, you know, cover your maybe your kind of shiftiest guy on a shallow cross. Impossible. Good first touchdown. We go under center. Play action pass. Look at the time, guys. This is absurd. I mean, the Cardinals, <laughs> what I read, the Cardinals DBs, like they deserve better. You know, so this guy sticks with. Uh, the receiver for 25 yards, right? Runs all the way across the field. Like you can't, you can't hold him forever. Do a job coming back up down the line, down the uh, stem, by the way, on that play. With so much time to throw. And listen, I'm not just, it is hard to pass block. And I'm saying great job by the Packers. But when you're going under center play action pass, you got guys chipping out, and there's only four rushing. If you're the Cardinals, it's like, who, aside from Buddha, who do you have in your secondary that you or linebacker crew that you think is so good that they're gonna they're gonna give you know a seven second drop and be able to cover because you're you're not getting home with four. Crazy. All right, we got two in the backfield again, setting the table. Fantastic job. So they do the quick motion again, and it just gives them enough of kind of eye candy to understand how they're going to play over there. That means they have to rotate back on that safety. They have to rotate back to the other side. He knows that. They bring the back all the way over to run the screen. You don't see that too often. Well, I guess you see it all the time, but when you come out of the two backfield, you motion the guy over, you put him on the go, and then you bring the guy all the way over across the center to run the screen. While I suppose that's not um, the rarest thing you've ever seen, it is, a, it is a wrinkle that you're not used to seeing, especially if you're a defensive player here. Great play calling, man. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> Jenkins gets a little bit. So the one thing Jenkins did here, I'd have to say, is he made this dude pretty angry after this. Like, uh, 
this guy ended up having a pretty decent game, but takes his helmet off. And you know, I started thinking, you watch this. I know people have said this already. But like, what are we on as far as how many how many good runs has he had this year that we've had to get called back? I think it's got to be around like it's probably not around twenty three, but god damn, it's got to be a lot. Good job on the backside by Tucker Craft and, and and Zach Tom. By the way, Zach Tom's got his guy all in the end zone. Great job. Too bad. Motion again. They only move one guy, so it's an easy read. We're going. Man coverage, I say easy read for the center. First guy out, knows exactly who he's got to take care of. Once you take care of that guy, these these screens, here's the thing. On a screen, from an offensive lineman standpoint, if you know who you're going to and you have a pretty good idea that you can get there, the rest of the game is kind of easy. Because, like, if I'm running downhill, I'm 295 pounds. These guys are bigger than I am. But if I'm running downhill at a DB or a linebacker and they're trying to get to the running back, and I just all I have to do is basically run at them somehow, some way, and just make them. If they move, like I've won because you know, for me, Amon or or Najee or Tony or any of those guys is gonna be able to make them miss. So this is and, and these guys are even more shiftier because they're receivers. Or maybe I mean this might be a manual list. I'm not sure. But, but the point is, the hard part is getting that first guy. If you get that first guy, the rest of it's cream cheese, man. You know, it's hard not to, you know, so last week we, we talked, I kind of talked about this a couple different shows and I always try to preface it by like, we don't know the story, but if this was the case and, you know, you're hard on a guy I mean, for missing games and whatnot, but, um, and who knows really again what the story was and the truth is going to come out in the locker room. It's not going to come out necessarily in the media, despite what, you know, ESPN wants to tell you, but you just have to say, man, the guy, the guy sure as hell showed up and had a great game, a couple of great catches here for touchdowns. Couple great catches for touchdowns. So this guy did not like his face touch, man. And, and so Rashid, unfortunately, just got tossed out the club by this guy. Like he's he, not, he there's a couple plays where he was not having me. He wanted to let you know for the next the rest of the game. You, sometimes you get in your ass kid. I remember we were playing uh we were playing Houston. They started this like 19 year old kid against me. I was playing in Carolina, and I was so pissed. Like I was so insulted that they would. He was a rookie, first round pick, and everything. Can't remember his name. But he was like 19 or 20 years. I was so insulted. I, I, and I think we'd end up losing the game. But I think I yelled at their bench pretty much the entire game when I was on the field. Just and the dog cussing, just because you get so mad. So it isn't. And Don Jones, he looked like that to me. Okay. Yeah, this is that window throw, man. It's one of the, the you know we talked about last week. Like he's these guys are usually wide ass open. This is a big time throw by him. Um, I'm going to bring this up later, so I'll just bring it up now. You see between the right guard and the, and the right tackle. We need to be as, as um, sturdy in there as possible. Again, what were they saying? I say this, like, you got, look at this time. Four-man rush? Look at this time. I mean, this kid. How fast is Christian Watson? Jesus Christ. All right. I see. So at the end of the game, you know, Jenkins has to move. Myers is out and they do. Okay, great. I disagree. I talked about this last week. I just don't. At some point, you got to go. And and Myers didn't play great last week. So maybe that's why they, you, know, you have to do this. And he is a first round pick. But the physicality was severely lacking from the rookie. You know, it, it, there's just there's just so many plays here, and, and you know a lot of this is just footwork and getting bad. But if you got to knock the rust off, like, this isn't the time. Like I'm a big fan of of learning at practice, not learning in the middle of the game with you know eighty thousand people in the stands, and just fundamentally, like you know, people are going to knock Jacobs on or Myers. That's not Myers' fault. Come on, Mike. I don't know how we got back to this play. Here we go. So you got two to the side. 
was one of the few. And this is the hard part about Jordan Love. Like he he's he is certainly athletic. So they, they end up running a game here, and we have to do a better job of kind of passing it off. Um, but he's just got enough time to do just about anything he wants. What a play. If you're the if you're the the DB there, and we saw this last week. And I don't know if it's the way he throws the ball because it's it's up so high some of these plays, but the DBs it looks like they're looking at the wrong angle. They don't they don't find these these footballs and maybe it's a secret weapon. We just don't you know I, I can't quite comprehend. So here seventy seven again. We got to be physical. This is a physical game. This is a violent sport. And if you're not, you know, if you're learning on the go, in other words, if like you, you know, it doesn't look like he knows what he's doing, is what I'm trying to say there. And I know that you're taking your reading, you're coming back, but we need some, you need to do some violence, right? And I think, well, I don't think, I think Sean Ryan is not the athlete that this guy is, certainly, you know, just from, we need to, we need to, that position, you can get away with just being, violent at some at some stage so this <laughs> danton jones over uh jenkins man i think it's payback time like he, he kept the kid kept playing man this guy was this guy was the real deal in this game and that's again. That's what happens sometimes. You just get into these. Uh, you get in your own head, and you start creating like a, there's a, there's a little bit of a fight with you. Now there's another play by 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 Morgan, and like this isn't only his fault. Um, but you're pulling here. Okay, you either got to take out that that color that you see from the tight end, or you got to pull tight. Okay, this is unacceptable. And again, my only point is not that he is not ever going to get better or any of that. My only point is now is not the time. Now, this is how you run block. Zach Tom, and I don't know why this isn't highlighted. You know, I did the, I, I spent all this time doing this clip art stuff and then it doesn't record, but what, look at Zach Tom here. This is how you, this is how you do the damn job. Stay on your track, downhill. Okay, his guy makes the play after he drove him for five or six yards. That's big time ball. 